So a few months ago, I looked at these, which were the bone conducting sunglasses, which delivered sound via bone conduction, all within a frame of glasses. Now I'm looking at these, which are the latest headphones from Aftershocks, and they're called Aeropex. <music> Now don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So to give you a little bit of history, the team at Aftershocks who were formed in 2011 have been working to try and create the very best in bone conducting technology. And since then there's been various models which they've designed and released to give sound via another source which isn't going directly into the ear. And this bone conduction which sits just in front of the ear isn't quite incredible and I really urge you if you haven't tried something like this to really give it a go because you'll be amazed at the response. Now one of the complaints I had with the sunglasses which sat behind the ear was when you turned the volume up they gave this vibration which was quite distracting and actually quite irritating. Now with these sitting just in front they don't do that. This is the Aeropex, let's have a look, let's get them unboxed and I'll show you a little bit more. So a little bit later we'll go through the differences between these which are the Aeropex and they are the latest model and compare them to these which are the Trex Air and they were the previous model. There are a number of differences but if you've already got a pair of these you might want to know whether you ought to upgrade or not. So let's get the Aeropex unboxed and as you can see right away like it was with the sunglasses when I unboxed them I've not seen packaging as good as this. It is absolutely incredible. The extra money that they spend on the packaging and the design will absolutely blow you away. It really looks the business. Now one of the first impressions you'll get from these headphones is how light they are. They literally weigh nothing and I'll go through some of those tech specs a little bit later for you. You've also got a little accessory bundle here and in there you've got all of the bits and pieces you'd expect. You've got your warranty information, you've got your quick start guide and you've got your cables to charge. But that's all a bit boring hence why I've just sped up that. Now this is the case which is a rubberized case almost like a silicon case which will keep them protected but it won't offer too much in in the way of protection in terms of anyone stood on them so you do need to be careful. Now one thing that you will notice is that these are the type of material that you can bend, twist, shape and you're not going to break them very easily. I'm not going to try and break these but they do give me confidence that they'll last an awful long time. Controlling your music and your calls is an absolute breeze with these. On the bottom you've got your magnetic charging point which I'll show you in a second. You've also got your volume up and volume down and to turn these on and get them pairing all you need to do is press the plus and hold it and you'll get the blue and red light which will take you into Bluetooth pairing mode and then just connect your device. On the other side there's a multifunction smart control which will answer and end calls, skip forward with two presses and skip back with three, play and pause a track and also a long press to summon your Google Assistant or Siri. These are also perfectly suited for those that wear glasses because there's no interruption with the comfort of wearing your glasses and having these on at the same time. Now that also bodes well for people that find traditional headphones or earbuds just a little bit too uncomfortable because you can wear this and you can then still have your sunglasses on and it will work brilliantly. Now let's have a look at noise leakage and listen to this test. So in my test, once you got up to around 90 to 100%, then you could definitely hear it. Anything from 80 below, which is quite comfortable volume to be listening to, was absolutely fine. So you may be considering or already own the previous model. So let's now have a look at some of the major differences between the old Trex Air and these, the Aeropex. Now obviously one of the most interesting factors is the price and the newer model is $149.95 in the UK and the Trex Airs are $99.95 in the UK. I'll leave full links in the description for you to check that out. Now the Aeropix has a 30 degree face which means you get a snugger connection to the face and the bone and therefore get a better sound. The Airpex has a 50% smaller transducer and that's not the only thing that's smaller, it's also 30% smaller overall and that means it's 12% lighter. Now despite having a smaller battery, it actually lasts for 2 hours longer than the previous model and you get 50% less sound leakage. 
You also get IP67 waterproofing, which means that these can effectively go in a meter of water for 30 minutes and they'll still work. I wouldn't recommend you try that though, guys. They also come with this magnetic charging cable, which grips firmly, and when it is charging, you get this red indicator light. In summary, my friends, I was really surprised with these. They are very light and comfortable to wear, and they deliver a unique sound, and also the bass is surprisingly good. If you're the type of person that wants to know still what's going on around you, and you don't get on with headphones or earbuds, then these could be the ones for you. I'll leave you with the little promo video, but let me know what your thoughts are in the description. But I was really impressed. Thanks for watching this video as always, my friends, and I will see you on the next. Oh, and by the way, the links are in the description.